A tiny dot moving at nearly 8 kilometers a second. This asteroid won't hit Earth, but it will come really close. Asteroid 2023 DZ2 was discovered in February by astronomers in the Canary Islands in Spain. It's 50 to 100 meters across, big enough to cause significant damage to a city and bigger than the meteor that broke apart in the skies over Russia in 2013. The next two nights, when we could recover and then um, uh, follow up these objects, an orbit came up and we did realize that it's something serious. If that object would have come 19 hours later, then probably in three years from now, we would, we would really had an impact. But thanks to the new observing and so, uh, some so-called uh, pre-covery data by uh, two American surveys, now it's um, eliminated from the list. DZ2 is one of thousands of rocks in the International Astronomical Union's catalog of minor planets. And you can see it here, its orbit intersecting with Earth's right there. Now that means it also joins NASA's Sentry program, which is an automated system that keeps an eye on all the known objects in orbit over the next 100 years. DZ2 is not a threat, and in fact, none of the objects in this catalog are. At the moment, there are no known asteroids that pose known threats to the planet Earth. There are more than one million known asteroids, from kilometers to meters in diameter. Most orbit between Mars and Jupiter. We have new systems coming online. Again, an example is an American one called the Atlas system, which has a very wide field of view and scans the sky rather quickly compared to the old fashioned surveys. There are more and more of, uh, you know, professional and amateur astronomers alike that use bigger and bigger telescopes and they just discover uh, objects in addition to these professional surveys. Asteroids are rich targets for scientists. It has long been thought that they may carry complex chemicals formed in the quiet darkness of deep space. And just this month, Japanese scientists found evidence for that in the dust that was collected from the asteroid Ryugu and returned to Earth. It contained uracil, a building block of RNA, one of the molecules essential for life on Earth. Astronomers use these near misses by asteroids to improve their abilities to spot the small rocks that could one day pose a threat to our planet. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera.